Corpus Colossum. Today we're going to be looking at Mog Hami and how his music can help us understand world history and why his uh, groundbreaking music and his innovative style is ushering in a new era in hip-hop and essentially why he is on the top of the mountain. Mog Hami is an underground legend in the hip-hop game. He's currently running the underground scene. Uh, he had an incredible run in 2017 that really cemented him as a legend with the God Fahim. And um, he was born in Haiti and lived there for some years and then grew up in New York as well. New York in New Jersey. And uh, this Haitian background has led him to call himself privileged because of his rich cultural upbringing. Now, Haiti is uh, a very important country in world history and especially in terms of the Enlightenment because uh, the Haitian slave revolt was the first successful slave revolt and it was the full realization of the Enlightenment. Um, and this is important to understand because as Ma'akami now sort of is dominating hip hop, he is embodying the Haitian revolution in this way of sort of embodying or er, ruling the, uh, you know, stage of current music uh, by using his Haitian roots to dominate and using the American style as the Haitians in their revolt used the French ideals and even the songs of the French Revolution were being sung by the Haitians in battle. And um, so Makami's uh, really helped us understand this. And I think one of the most uh, important songs in Makami's discography is uh, one of his features on uh, a song with Husk Kingpin called Xerox Clocks. In this song, Makami really uh, explains a lot about his, back, his past and his name and especially about hip hop and about the history of hip-hop. He explains it as sort of this, uh, a child of soul music, folk, blues, jazz, rock, and finally hip-hop. And the way he describes is how it's sort of at a deadlock right now, and it's sort of dead. Um, artistically, it has been unable to grow, and he attributes it, I think, to sort of just the uh, deadlock that we have in general in art today. And how he breaks through that deadlock is by embodying the revolutionary nature of his country and by dominating each one of these, incorporating each one of these genres that he mentions into his music in a brilliant way and by incorporating different languages into his music. It elevates the art world in the same way that the Haitian Revolution elevated the global understanding of the world. Susan Buck Morris, who uh, wrote the masterpiece Hegel and Haiti, describes how Hegel drew his inspiration for the master-slave dialectic from the slave revolt in Haiti. And she goes on to describe how uh, ha Haiti really is crucial to understanding the Enlightenment in this way, and it's the full realization of the Enlightenment. And um, Ma Kami really does uh, do a good job of embodying all of this and living through. And uh, now I'd like to focus on how he's in a way Nietzschean as well. Makami often talks about uh, being up on the mountain, and uh, I take this as a, sort of like a reference to Thus Spoke Zarathustra, in the way that uh, as Zarathustra is coming up the mountain, he's carrying a dead man on his back because he was the only one in the village that stood by his principles. And he realizes halfway up the mountain that the man is dead. And he has to drop, he, so he realizes and he drops the man. Makami in self love is talking about, I dropped the dreads. He says something along the lines of, I cut my dreads and I dropped the dead weight. He, his music embodies that, and it's an, always an ascension to a higher plane of artistic uh, genius. And the way he acts is, it is by constantly cutting off the dead weight, and by constantly identifying the dead weight within the current rap game, and by addressing these weak points in various points in his music. And so uh, he is up on the mountain, like Zarathustra. I'm up on the mountain, dog. They had come get me down, and he's cut the dead weight off. And he is also just very Nietzschean in that he does not like, he, 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 his art speaks for him and his art is his medium. He is not a, uh, he's no, he's not a, a storyteller or a philosopher. He's, he's an artist and he's, uh, he's, uh, he exemplifies Nietzschean philosophy, I think in that way. And, um, overall, I think he, 
is leading the game right now because of his rich history and cultural background and because of his ability to navigate the different genres of music and incorporate them into his current uh, style of rapping, which sets him apart from other rappers and really establishes him as the frontier of art, the art world today and as a living example of what the world is. The best art comes from people like Basquiat or Makami because their rich cultural background enables them to navigate the current landscape of an American art style with a kind of precision and a kind of uh, different view on things that evolves the art in a naturally, uh, in, a, in a way that plays by the rules. And this is also why Makami likes to uh, do his pricing the way he does because he just relies on a few investors and he has more than a few and he is able to uh, get more sales on his songs than many mainstream artists who go the, into the normal route and so he's playing by the by the by the industry's rules and he is taking it to the the, the extent of being the smartest he can be and that's another way how he shows his intelligence and his uh, ascension from the normal rap game because he understands how to navigate this scene with good marketing and, and, and by creating art that's that attracts the right people and that attracts the people who are uh, who know what it is and can appreciate it for what it is. So, yeah, I just think everyone should uh, listen to Xerox Glocks and also read uh, Hegel and Haiti by Susan Buck Morris. And it, it puts things in a good context for what Makami is, what he stands for for me, and the way he inspires me to tap into my, my culture and to tap into my uh, historical roots to excel in the game in whatever domain in, in it is in, in today's age, you know, amongst these uh, other people around here. And he is uh, one of a kind and he is leading the charge in uh, artistic flair and creativity right now. And um, we're glad to have him in the game.